Okay, I'll be teaching you the multiplying two numbers, one over 100, one under 100 trick. This uh, trick is a little bit harder than the other tricks that I've taught you so far, um, so really pay attention here. This number is under 100 by 6, negative 6. This number is over 100 by 3, positive 3. Now, just like every trick that I've taught you so far, each answer is going to have two parts to it. In this case, it gets a little bit trickier. For this part of the answer, you're going to need to remember 100. And from this part of the answer, you're going to need to remember 99. So what you're going to do, it's under by 6 over by 3. Negative 6 times 3 is 18. You're going to subtract 18 from 100. 100 minus 18 is 82. You're going to write an 82 there. Then you're going to add the negative 6 and the 3. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. You're going to either add or subtract that to 99. Now in this case, I'm going to subtract it because negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. I'm going to subtract 3 from 99, and I get 96. So my answer would be 9, 6, 8, 2. Okay, so let me walk you through this again. To, fix, to make the 82, this was under by 6 over by 3. Negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. You're going to subtract 18 from the 100. You get 82. Then you're going to say negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. You're going to subtract 3 from the 99. 9, 6, 8, 2. Let's do another example. This is over by 8. And this is under by 5. Two parts once again. Last part dealing with 100. First part dealing with 99. Negative 8 times negative, or sorry, positive 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. 100 minus 40 is 60. Then you're over by 8, under by 5. Neg a positive 8 plus a negative 5 is a positive 3. You're going to, in this case, since positive 8 is bigger than negative 5, you're going to add 3 to the 99. 99 plus 3 is 102. So your final answer would be 10260. Now this is a hard trick to learn at first, so I'd recommend you check each of your answers with a calculator. Good luck with it.